rocks inside of you, a special type of the mesh that create randomly each time when you click on a rock creation. Before we do this, I also one point, notice right here we have a dot, that is meaning we can open additional visual menu for our rock. So let's go right click on a rock, it will open our rock templates. And rocks in this case, they look different, depend on what you're looking from the smooth low resolution, pebbles more closer to the um, water erosion, and more to rough and different other rocks. Uh, one thing to understand, this is not uh, just the uh, same shape rocks that applied displacement materials, like in some rocks that we're creating sometimes. This is a root species, same as a vegetation. It uses complex algorithm to create specific shape of the rock in its own preset parameters. For example, if we create rough rocks, it will create rough rocks from that specimen. Example, let's select one of these. We'll click OK. And right here, you'll notice it will create this rock for us. The next, if I'm right now, we already pre-selected species. If I left click, it will create another rock in the same species, which will look similar, but it will be different shape and size. So I'm going to go right here, let's drop it. And let's create one more. As uh, any other mesh object, the rock can be modified um, from the screen, so it's meaning we can move, rotate, scale, distort, as well as we can um, change some materials of a rock. We can clone, and a specific one thing when we clone, for example, when I clone this rock, you notice it's clone exactly the same shape of the rock. It does not create new. However, if you take a rocks and you add an ecosystem and you use it, the rocks will be acting very similar to vegetation, so it will create it from same species, but all rocks will look different when you use an ecosystem painter or ecosystem population. Delete this one rock. And right now, if we're going to preview, you'll notice right here we have all these rocks, but they all look different. The one thing is what I mentioned before about um, using material displacement. They do enhance on this rock, however, if for some reason you want to disable or make it uh, render faster, you can disable displacement of materials, which will render a little bit faster. And it won't affect some rocks that much because right here you can notice it does not change shape because shape was created in a, inside the mesh itself. Okay, uh, next things also to look a little bit better, we can change a material, for example, just in white. And right here you can see we can only just the mesh of the object. Because it's mesh object as well, you can perform some operations. For example, you can go and in polygon mesh option and modify it here on a effect on double sided. If you want to increase boost of the polygons, and you can also bake the object if you want to uh, perform a little better in the rendering. Okay, and if of course if you bake it, it will lock the mesh, so you cannot modify that much. Also, because it's mesh object, some boolean operation can perform. For example, you can select them or select specific rocks and you can apply some simple boolean operations. Example, if I can if I create the sphere. Okay, let me go here. Position just about the rock. Okay, and I'm going to enable difference. Okay, so let me be sure that my sphere located under my rock. You can notice right here, simple boolean operation was applied as a mesh object. However, if you have it select two different rocks, you cannot perform um, 
the meta blob on them but you can apply it if you have it a rock and maybe different type primitive so you can work as a primitive um, meta blob with them additional any um, other effect you can apply to the rocks or all, almost same as a any other mesh based object and the one last thing is kind of to know and even I tell it's create all different species overall depend on type of the rock it's well approximately we'll use 20 different template for um, the rock shape however because the small randomizations they won't look exactly the same they still have a little bit different because additional materials may be displaced and applied but it won't be created total unlimited different looks so it still have it some fit in kind of preset templates for the overall rock shapes and size per each species.